can use that to back into your director position. Hi, my name is David Shavaria, and uh, I'm an aspiring director, and I'm here with Dan Watanabe, uh, former uh, development exec executive. And uh, as an aspiring director, um, how does uh, an aspiring director go about pitching a movie uh, or, or a project and then pushing themselves into a director position? That's a tough one, but it happens all the time. Uh, there are several different strategic paths that you can follow to see that that happens. Um, and all of them require you to play a little bit of politics. Uh, the first way is to come up with a bunch of projects. One of them is the one that you really, really want to direct. That is your dream project. You do not pitch that project. What you do is you take the project of the ones that you've come up with that's the most commercial. Um, you meet with people, you talk about it, and most importantly, if you find someone who's willing to do it or is interested in it, but they don't want to take you as a director because it's very difficult to get funding for a first-time director, um, let them buy you out. And make sure that they buy you out with sufficient cash to where you can go a certain amount of time without making money. Uh, because time is, is, the, is the greatest thing that, 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 that you can have on your side because you, you learn something with every project you work on. So if you can sell something, great. If they actually will take you on as a director, even better. But just be aware that the first thing you direct is probably going to be quite nightmarish. So that's another reason you don't want it to be your dream project. You want it to be something that's relatively easy to shoot. Is there certain companies that you should target uh, when trying to come in as a director? Um, again, most of the companies that, that need to get money from outside investors or through the normal ways of, of, of getting money through pre-sales or something like that, uh, most of those companies are going to have a very difficult time with the first-time director. So what you're going to need is to find an angel or someone who's willing to uh, trust you as a first-time director. This is the other strategy that you can use, and that is to make a couple of movies that will have uh, and make an impression in the festival world. Now, um, I, I think that there's a lot of film schools that place perhaps too much emphasis on festivals. Festivals are not a business model, but what they are is they're a good way to advertise yourself. So if you can make a short uh, or even a feature that's on a, on a very low level that's really clever and, and, has a, and has a strong visual style, then what you'll have is you'll have people come to you and say, wow, what else do you have? What other, what other projects do you have? And, and you can use that to back into your director position. Because if, if you had won a festival uh, and you had had interest coming in from agents and other production companies, that will trump the fact that you're a first-time director. Because they'll look at this as being something where there's a certain amount of publicity that can be had to say that, oh, we found this new filmmaker through the festival circuit and they are great. That's worth a lot of money in publicity. So, uh, so that's another way to, to get that to happen. But again, it's something where instead of being completely project focused in your, in, in your passion for it, you're also sitting there and, and being a little bit, uh, a little bit of a Sammy Glick and, and, and planning on how you can, and, and on how you can leverage what you've done, not only for what it is, but for what it can mean to you long term in your career. So, okay. um, so if you want to be a director, uh, that, that's kind of how you're going to need to play those, play those cards, or at least that's the most efficient way. Do, um, do the development people uh, during pre-production, uh, like you say right now that you mentioned the festivals, uh, would that be a way that they would also bring in, uh, even if, let's say, you're, you're not pitching the project, but would, if you do have a, a, a successful career in, in um festivals, would, would that give you a chance for a development company to say and, 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 and consider you, even though you're a first-time director, to bring you on board? What'll happen is you're not going to be pitching them at that point. They're going to be coming to you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they might already have um, been, been pitched by an agent, that you're someone who's fired in a bottle, that, that you're someone who's really an up-and-comer. So 
you're already in the door as someone who has credentials, even if you're technically going to be a first-time director. Uh, but, but that's, again, where you're leveraging something that you've done in the past. Okay. Uh -huh. And it's been done on a, strategic, uh, on, on a strategic point rather than a purely artistic one. Well, great. Thank you. Uh, okay. Very informational. Uh, and thank you for being with us. Thank you.